A lot of people don't like my comedy. A lot of white people don't like my comedy. A lot of white people say this to me. Hey, Amir. Hey. You get on stage. You make your jokes about white people. You say white people this, white people that. What if I did something like that, huh? What if I got on stage and I said, yeah, black people are like this. Muslims are like that. You'd probably call me a racist, wouldn't you? And I say, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, you should, you should never do that. That's, that's bad for your health. They're like, well, you do that, Amir. You do that. You get on stage. You make your jokes about white people. Don't you think that's a kind of racism? Don't you think that's... Dun, dun, dun. Reverse racism. I said, no. I don't think that's reverse racism. Not because, not because I think reverse racism doesn't exist, right? If you ask some black and brown people, they'll tell you flat out there is no such thing as reverse racism. I don't agree with that. I think there is such a thing as reverse racism. And uh, I, could be, I could be a reverse racist if I wanted to. Uh, all I would need would be a uh, time machine, right? And uh, what I'd do is I'd get in my time machine, I'd go back in time, to before Europe colonized the world, right? And uh, I'd convince the leaders of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Central and South America to uh, invade and colonize Europe, right? Just occupy them, steal their land and resources, set up some kind of like, I don't know, trans-Asian slave trade where we exported white people to work on giant rice plantations in China. Just ruin Europe over the course of a couple of centuries so all their descendants would want to migrate out and live in the places where black and brown people come from. But of course, in that time, I'd make sure I set up systems that privilege black and brown people at every conceivable social, political, and economic opportunity. <laughs> white people would never have any hope of real self-determination. This every couple of decades make up some fake war as an excuse to go and bomb them back to the Stone Age and <laughs> say it's for their own good because their culture is inferior and then just for kicks, subject white people to colored people's standards of beauty. So they, end up hating the color of their own skin, eyes, and hair. <laughs> if, after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of that, I got on stage at a comedy show and said, hey, what's the deal with white people? Why can't they dance? That would be reverse racism. Robin, thank you, you've been great.